your line of, of thinking and comments and, and associate myself with them. And now um, we're going to continue on the Republican side uh, with Mr. Bob Good uh, from, from Virginia for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate all of our witnesses who are here today. I have a question. I would like to try to get uh, four succinct answers as I go down the row, starting with Mr. Kirshner. What percentage, in your opinion, estimation, your research, what percentage of the, or what number of the world's non-U.S. population would come to America if they could? So in other words, we've got roughly 350 million Americans, some 7 billion plus people who don't live in the United States. So if they could, what percentage of the world's population or what number, would you just kind of a guesstimate based on that would, would come here if they could? Uh, yes, sir. I'm a, fortunately, I didn't know it would be a pop quiz, but I know Gallup has done- You know there'd be done, math in this. No, thing. no, no. I, didn't, I do know Gallup has done some surveys, um, and I know it's, I think it's probably a third. So you're, so you're saying somewhere in the two billion range, I'm just assigning a number to a third, maybe two to three billion, something like you that. You know, I, I, that would be my guess. You couldn't okay, hold me third. to it. Okay, uh, Mr. Blair, if you had to guesstimate a number, if they could, the world's population that would come to the United States if they could. Well, the U.S. is the greatest country in the world, so I would probably put it maybe 50% or more. Okay, you're saying three, four billion. Uh, uh, Mr. Smith? I'd make it a close 70%. Close to 70%. So you're saying in the 5 billion type range, and then down at the end, Mr. Beer. Oh, it'd certainly be over 100 billion, but we can focus on the people who over have already gotten the process. Over 100 billion, we don't have 100 billion. You, you sorry, 100 sorry, billion. 100 million. You're saying wow. only 100 million. You think- We, we could, we could, yeah. You're saying only 100 million. Well, that's about what Gallup. Gallup only 100 million. Means. Yeah. What's the population of Africa? What's the population of South America? What's the population of Asia? And you think only yeah, 100 I mean, you, million of them. There's what, 5 billion between those just roughly making it up? So you're saying in the range of 2% would come here? 2% yeah. would come here if they could? I mean, wages equalize over time. So look at what Mr. we have. Okay, th thank you. Thank you. I think, I, I, I I mean, think you know where I'm going. Thank you. I reclaim my time. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thanks. So uh, how many should we let come to America? I think that's a fundamental question. How many should we let come to America? Meaning legal, illegal, some, some want to mix the two together, which is offensive. I wish Mr. Glencott was still here. How many should we let come? Uh, yes, sir. We, what would be a good number? We believe that current immigration rates are about as much as we can sustain as a nation. We would, however, advocate that those immigrants be skilled. We think for the national interest, it would benefit- Re Respectfully, I'm gonna apologize because I've only got two minutes and yes, I'm going sir. somewhere. This, I apologize, Mr. Kirshner, yeah, for that. I think the question, okay, what percentage would come if they could? How many should we let come? And what number would make us no longer America? And is it worth preserving what makes us distinctly, uniquely America? Is that worth preserving? The fundamental question relative to, to the illegal alien invasion, or for those who support the illegal alien invasion. First of all, as others have said, there's no such thing as illegal immigration. Immigration is a legal, lawful process. Uh, for that matter, legal immigrants are Americans, aren't they? Legal immigrants are Americans, of course. They wanted to be Americans. They earned their citizenship. They pledged their allegiance. They learned our language. At least everyone that I have interacted with at the naturalizations, naturalization ceremonies they have the privilege of going to has learned our language. They have have the means and the ability to contribute to our economy and our society to make us stronger, make us better. In fact, this Friday, two days from now, I look forward to welcoming another group among the million or so that we legally allow into this country every year, legally. Uh, I'm gonna welcome them at Patrick Henry's Red Hill home in my district. I have the most historic district in the country, I would submit. So the fundamental question for those who support the illegal alien invasion is, does everyone around the world have the right to come to America? Or does America have the right to decide who gets to come to America? How about that? those two questions? Does everyone around the world have the right to come to America? Or does America get to decide who has the right to be in America? Uh, Ms. Kirchner. Americans should be able to decide the future of their country. Thank you, sir. Americans should decide. Mr. Smith. Same. Mr. Beer? America should decide, but there Thank should be a you, presumption yes. in favor of liberty. And that's the question that it does indeed make us very far apart from what Lloyd said. 
because what many on the other side believe, and I would submit Mr. Beer believes this if he was being honest with us, that they believe that because of the statements that he said in his opening remarks, they believe they have the right to be here. And then the ranking member talked about the triangle countries coming here. You know, we cannot, and he said, the, the problem is we got to go fix those triangle countries. So they don't want to come here anymore from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. The only way we can do that is to let lawlessness reign, destroy our economy, defund and undermine our police, you know, destroy our institutions so that we become as bad as some of these countries around the world. And then the journey and the cost of the journey, the difficulty is no longer worth it. I submit that's Democrat policies carried through. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I submit. I, sub I yield back. I think the